Moin Leute, my name is Ronin Doc, also known as Dr. Didi Henschel. Welcome to my wild food channel. In springtime, when you are having a nice beach walk, you might be aware of purple dots on the beach, which looks like broccoli. Those are the shoots of sea coal and a great delicacy. Sea coal grows in the drift line, on and near dunes, in salty soils, sandy and stony ground in the North Atlantic region, the northern coast of the Mediterranean, the Black Sea or in Northern Europe, and nowadays as a neophyte at the Oregon coast too. After the juvenile stage of this plant from the mustard family, the purple-green broccoli-like foliage develop into a very large, bluish-green and fleshy thick leaves into a height of nearly one meter with white blossoms. The whole plant is edible, leaf shoots, older leaves and the later shoots, but please don't roll over the beach and harvest all plants. Take from each plant only something, then it recovers quickly and other hungry grunts can enjoy a meal too. The young shoots are probably the oldest broccoli in the world. I like sea coal the most according to the KISS principle, to keep the original taste and not ruining it with Heinz or Bechamel. KISS, keep it simple stupid. I wash the sea coal in cold water, leave it to drip dry and eat it with a fried egg, flavor it with fleur de sel, blend of pepper and a bit of chili. And of course for the toothless ones you can make a smoothie like with green coal with everything you desire. Like a fresh apple, lemon, ginger, cereals, pinch of cardamom, a spoon of cold pressed olive oil, curcuma and fill it up with almond milk. Where I take only tomatoes and tabasco or chili which was not at hand right now. I like it best directly from the beach where it is crunchy. See ya! By the way, the Romans pickled it in Paris and took it with them on ships. The world's first sauerkraut, if you will. So the Romans were actually the krauts, not the Germans! <laughs> if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below this video and I'll come back to you. Also, if you want to have a list of the nutrients of the plant, go to the link in the descriptions and go to my homepage funlifeforoutdoor.com. So let me know if you like this video and please subscribe or give hints I can do better.